Well, today is the 20th of March, 2023. It's uh, a Wednesday, so Anita's off on her knitting duties. And I'm in the outside the Sol by Melia Lunamar Palmanova Hotel. Somebody was asking me whereabouts it is. Uh, so, well, here I am, standing right outside. It's all closed at the moment, but it's all been recently painted and cleaned up and looking very pretty. Uh, so this is what it looks like from the roadside. Across the road is the Cas Sabonaires, and then uh, you've got the road that goes down there to the towards the beach. But uh, if you're coming out this way, um, then there is also some steps that will take you down. There's actually a very handy little car park down there as well, which we use quite often. So I'm going to go down into the car park and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around the block here. I can only hear Anita saying right now, just be careful, there's some steps here. So yeah, somebody was asking me, they were planning their trip to Mallorca and they were saying, whereabouts is the Luna Mar? Well, it's this one that's actually properly boarded up at the front there, look. Um, that'll all come down very shortly. Uh, the hotels and apartments are all gradually opening up for the season and today's the first day of spring and it just feels like a spring day it's nice and warm and uh, a few little clouds around but it's not too bad temperature's going to be well into the uh, 20s i guess to 20 just move out a little bit this is the car park i'm talking about uh, in high season you'd be lucky to find yourself anywhere to park in here but sometimes you find a space today no problem at all these are the apartments and uh, he's still doing work you can see lots of furniture out on the terrace there so all the work is there uh, getting ready to to open up uh, so very very nearly ready what I wasn't sure about was whether there's actually a gate at the bottom which would save you walking down those steps at the side. I don't know. Another car park across the road, which again sometimes we use. Hotels there are the Sol Parmanova hotels. It's a bus stop just there. There is a gate here, but I think that's more of a tradesman's entrance don't think you're going to be using that so buses on that side will take you towards Palmer and on this side will take you towards Magaluf um, Santa Ponge in that direction so yeah Magaluf, Santa Ponge, Sol de Mallorca even and there are some uh, restaurants in here but uh, not, not really a gate down at the bottom so yeah you're gonna have to go down those steps i think or you can go down the road and uh, i'm going to be walking around the block so you can see where that is just over the road there that big white hotel is the santa lucia that's directly on the beach the blocks here the tall blocks these are all residential blocks here people live in them menu del dia 13 euros that's a good player price. Menu Del Dio normally includes three courses and uh, a drink, wine and beer. But you've got quite a good choice of restaurants. Big hotel in the front is the San Matias Beach Hotel. That's, uh, that's where Sean is going to be staying in not too many weeks now. Countdown has begun. Mecca, unfortunately, there across the road. That's been closed for a couple of years, and so uh, you're not going to find that open, I don't think. And uh, oh, it's where the beach is. The beach is just across there. Let's take a quick look. You see, uh, cleaning up the terrace there, the old kiosco, San Matias, getting yourself a hamburger or a hot dog. Chris is cleaning up. 
And the Saint Macias, I believe, is already open. Um, many of the hotels are already open, and the rest will be opening in the next few days, end of month. It's about 149 hotels and apartments going to be open. And we're down to the beachfront. There's a little bit of a breeze today. But, uh, someone said there's no sunbeds yet and the lifeguard is not on the beach. I've seen some interesting new lifeguard stations that are being put up on the Playa de Palma in that area, different to the ones we've got here. This is the promenade on the San Matias beach and this is the San Matias beach hotel and yes, we can see people enjoying their stay here, already relaxing. Perhaps a bit early. You can find people on the beach, find them after lunch maybe. Uh, it's just after 11 o'clock in the morning. This is the pool area to the San Matias Beach Hotel and uh, people out sunbathing and a beautiful promenade to walk along and uh, if you're not someone who likes the sun then you can just walk under these trees and they afford you lovely uh, shade this is CISOs in front and uh, they're already open there's actually already people in there so somewhere where you can just go sit, relax and enjoy this magnificent view In the distance you hear a little bit of noise that's actually the local council workers cleaning the promenade. You can just look at uh, what a great job they do. Trees have all been trimmed. Promenade is spotlessly clean. Waiting for the start of the new season. So, whoops, we've got some cyclists here. Better get out of their way. I'm just going to walk through the uh, children's park area here. Not expecting to see any children of course because they should all be at school. People do ask me do I miss not going to work, going to school. Some aspects I suppose I do miss but uh, just really enjoying the freedom that we've got to do this sort of thing. Here are the toilets and uh, you need a 50 cents or 20 cents to use them and one of them you can see has got a ramp that is for the disabled you still need your 50 cents I'm afraid Lunamar's just back there if you want somewhere good value and uh, really good food Pablo family food can recommend that for sure but they're all going to be good. I'm not going to say any particular one with Florida here. Just a couple of doors away is also really, really good. Lovely to hear the sound of the birds. I'm mean, heading now actually in towards the direction of Magaluf with Torrenova up to the left. And uh, my apologies to Eduardo who watches all the videos but I think he must use Spanish subtitles and for some reason he can't get them anymore. I get them on my computer but I can't get them on my TV. Um, I've not changed anything um, so I don't know why the subtitles 
should have disappeared from the TV but be available on my computer curious one let me know if any of you know the answers there's another little passageway just to the left here which will take you down there to the beach there's a little shopping area down there a few more shops across the road and I'm going to cross over here I've been asked in the past about cash um, you're probably going to get charged wherever you change your money um, here's a bank where you can do that most places will accept a card payment and uh, if you're doing that you should use the local currency this machines like the one there ATM machines do, do check to see how much you're going to be charged and this is one for you Jim look we're outside Pappy's and it's all being cleaned up and being prepared so they're getting ready to open as well and uh, now this is the road where we'll find uh, well first of all we've got the Senses Rossa del Mar uh, we've got the Zafiro Parmanova and then further up we've got the Cast Sabonaire and we've also got the Lunamar which is where I started this video there's a few little shops here Car. Nice little bakery there if you want uh, your pastries or your ensaymadas. Places that will be opening up later in the day. Uh, little spa, I'm not sure whether that's going to be opening later. Across the road, uh, an ironmonger, that's a ferreteria. If you need a a screw or a washer or anything like that so that's where you go and uh, it's just all these cars here parked outside the the senses uh, Rosa del Mar someone was asking me about the Rosa del Mar that's where we are now I'll just give you a better view as we walk up the road here It's actually called the Mar Senses Rosa del Mar. And that's it. And uh, you see all the workers are working away. Again, I don't normally go into the hotels unless I'm invited by somebody or actually staying there. But, uh, family have stayed there in the past and uh, enjoyed their stay just coming up on the left we've got the Zafira Let's see a bit more of that. This is the Zafiro, Palma Nova Zafiro. There's quite a few Zafiro hotels, including two in Palma Nova. So this is the Zafiro Palma Nova, and then there's the Zafiro Palace Palma Nova. The Vero Palace being the five-star hotel just a little bit further up this road. Across the road we've got the Globalis. These are the Globalis apartments. And uh, it's got an entrance on this side, it's got an entrance on the other side. And the uh, problem with the entrance on the other side is very steep this side you can actually get in through the car park and uh, it's not so bad this is Globalis Nova Apartments 
the Bally's Nova Apartments. Just cross over so you can see them a bit better. Lots of work going on in all of these places. So this is the, uh, the entrance I'm talking about for the Globalis Nova Apartments. It's just a little bit further down there. There's the entrance for where the cars go in. If you go in this way, look, you've got the steps. <laughs> you've still got the, um, the wrapping on the stainless steel here. So they're not open yet. But if you walk through the car park, then uh, you don't have to go up any steps at all. You're straight actually into the Apartmentos Nova. We've got a different view now on the other side of the Zafiro. The entrance of which is just where that van's parked over there. That's a four-star hotel. If you're staying in the Zafiro and you come out through that door, then uh, you can walk down the road here, we're past all the cars, or if you're careful, you can cross the road here. But do be careful, it is a busy road. And uh, we see the access to the beach, which is just along here and down the steps. I'm not going to go down there because I've just come from there, but we can actually, in the distance there, see the beach. So you're about two or three hundred meters from the beach. And this is the Cas Sabonaires. I did another video this morning. That's the Zafiro, Cas Sabonaires, and the Melia Lunamar Ho apartment over there. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and useful, giving you perspective of where some of the things are here in Parmanova, very close to Magaluf here. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, there's a bell and all that sort of thing. Thanks very much. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.